be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Beat Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up because we're coming with back-to-back -back bangers. Now today's video, I wanted to talk about the multi-sampler in Logic Pro 10. Now, if you're brand new to Logic, basically there's a lot of cool things and features about Logic Pro 10, um, you know, especially when it comes to sampling. Um, we have the quick sampler, or we have the multi sampler. The quick sampler is kind of like just a real focused way to sample the music, and then you can get more detailed um, experiences using the multi sampler. So that's what we're going to uh, talk about today. Uh, so, first things first, let's go ahead and create a software instrument track. So, we'll come here, and then under instrument, I'm going to scroll down to sampler. So, not quick sampler, but sampler down here. It's going to say multi sample in the pair of uh, parentheses. Go there, push create, and then boom, this is gonna pull up. So basically, if you look at these little buttons right here, these are different windows or different like little parts to this multi-sampler. So first thing, let's look at um, let's look at some of these guys right here, right? So this is like your modulators. This is gonna affect like your LFOs and different. They have different envelopes and stuff like that. You can move these different things around, give it different, you know, give your sample different vibes. Um, we got this mod matrix right here. You can add different types of uh, effects and different things. And then you can also come over here and use the synth to control the pitch, filters, you know, a whole lot of other things. So, but the main part of this is mapping and zone, okay? These two areas are going to be actually the most important out of all of these five. OK, with mapping, I can pretty much come over to my computer and I can drag and drop any sample onto the notes on the keyboard here. And so say if I want to make a whole hip hop beat and I don't have to have to keep on jumping to different samples and dump and jump into different drums and everything, I can just drag and drop everything right in here and then make the whole beat right here when it comes to making soul beats or hip hop beats and things in that nature. Basically, I can drag and drop the sounds onto these, into these keys and then I can use the zone area, right? I can use zone area to chop it up, the sample, affect it, different things like that. So I'm gonna give you a live demonstration. Basically, I'm using my MIDI keyboard, so I'm, um, I have this uh, musical typing up so you can see what I'm pushing. Um, I basically push Command K and it brings up musical typing and then I went here. All right, so let's go ahead and go to splice this for a demonstration of purposes. I went down here and I found some sounds, right? So I have this sound right here that I like. So let's say I'm gonna drag this in here. I can put this on C. Now, again, I have mapping, which is this is where we're gonna take the process of taking different samples and putting them on the keyboard, okay? Anywhere we want. I can put the next sample on the C sharp or the D. You know, it doesn't matter. And then we have zone though, which is very important to know that this is like kind of like a little mini version of the quick sampler. I can come in here and edit this. And so instead of having to like, again, create multiple tracks, I can create the whole beat, lay out the whole beat right here with the different sounds and then make my beat. Um, so this is pretty dope. Now let's just talk about the uh, zone feature here. Again, this is kind of like the quick sampler. If you look at it a little close here, I can play it as a one shot this way. Compared to this version where I have to hold down my note, the, the hold down the key uh, to play the note. I can reverse it. And then I can also follow tempo. So whatever speed my uh, track is at or BPM, you'll match that. So that's pretty cool right here. And again, I, can, I showed you how you can just take these guys right here and get different parts of the beat. And you can make fades and everything, just like the quick sampler. So what I'm gonna do though, is we're gonna turn back on mapping. Now that you understand that, and I'm gonna go ahead and continue to you know put some cool samples on here. So we got this one. I think I'm gonna 
put this on D. And now, like, let's say if we wanted some drums on this too, I can go over here and you can go to your kick. And I can say, like, kick right here. I can put him, like, maybe on F. Okay, you can go ahead and say snare. Put you on G. Say hat. Put you right there. Put you right here. And so now I can come over here to my keyboard and I can literally just play the whole beat almost just like this. So this is makes it a whole lot easier when it comes to making the beat though. Like for instance, I could do the whole melody first and come over here like this. So now I can come over here and make the beat too. Real choppy, man, you know what I'm saying? But you get the point, I can come over here and quantize it, make it sound a little better there. I can come over here and, you know, play around with the velocities. But anyway, y'all, that's today's video. Appreciate you watching all the way to the end. Again, we do have courses. We have loop packs. We have also one-on-one -on -one beat making lessons that you can get and book right at beatmakingbasics.com. Make sure you go to the site, check out what we have going, and grab yourself a course, grab yourself a loop pack, or grab yourself a one-on-one -on -one with me, okay? Appreciate y'all, and I'll see you in the next video. We're out.